Hello. Um, how are you guys doing today? This is my first book review, and I want to review one of the most, one of the most special books which I have come across my life in my life, and um, I'm sure you must have heard of that book. The book's name is God of Small Things. And the the thing which really strikes to me about this book is that it is for everyone. It is not just for you know a particular group of people or a particular kind of reader. It you know it suits almost all kind of you know readers. You can find. Which you have never heard before. Of course, it's about India, and some of the people who are not familiar with India and Indian culture will find it different from what you have read if you have not read Arundhati Roy's book or her literature. The book is written by Arundhati Roy. The book of this book actually won the Booker Prize Award, I guess in 1997. I'm not sure. Please don't attack me for that. But it did win the Booker Award. I think it was 1994 or 1995, somewhere in that time. I remember distinctly because I was in school and uh, I was in the 10th grade. That is the time when you know, this book got the Booker Prize award, and that was the first time someone from India had got this award. And coming back to the book, this book is for any kind of ages. Children can read it. Of course, they are not children. Maybe children about the age of fourteen can read it. They'll find it interesting. Adults can read it. Older people can read it. Mature people can read it. So, any kind of reader can read and understand this book thoroughly. And the main gist of the book is about loss. Like when you lose something in your life, that is a time when you realize. How other people have treated you, how you know people actually treat other people. You can get um, and get that kind of you know narration from this book, which talks about loss. When you lose something, we don't realize like it's not just one thing that we lose. For example, in this book, the protagonist, which is um, Rahel, who you know, who is a kind of orphan, she's grown up by a single mom. That is, um. And Amu has married a out of love, has had a love marriage, and Amu's family is against this marriage. And out of this marriage, two kids are born, Rahel and Esteban. And this is their story: Rahel and Esteban, you know, go through this through their childhood, which is very painful and. Filled with different kind of situations and people and emotions, and they are not able to find a support system. They are not able to find a mature adult to take care of them because they lose everything in their life. They lose their father in the beginning because he divorces their mother and leaves them, and they come to Kerala and Aimanam and settle there. In the maternal side, that is her mom's 
house which is in Kerala and the author has also told that it is semi-biographical so I don't know and Rahel and his are the two children siblings and their mother Amu they go to Kerala and settle there and they are faced with you know opposition from the Amu's brother and Amu's mother and father. I'm sorry, Amu's father is no more, I guess, only Amu's mother is there. And there is also a maid, and there is baby Kochamma, their aunt. There is her Amu's father's sister, who is, you know, the complete tyrant, the complete villain in the mo- in this book. Actually, this book can make an amazing movie. But Arundhati Roy says that, you know, the movie will not carry that kind of pain which, pain and the kind of emotion which she wanted to be in the book somewhere. But I feel personally that the book can be converted into a beautiful movie. For example, for example two hours or three hours movie and it would definitely have a different kind of a world which you've never seen before. It's amazing when if you read this book you will understand how easy it is to read. The language is simple. The metaphors are excellent. There is a lot of metaphors in this novel. It is the first novel written by Arundhati Roy and strange that in the very first novel she got the Booker Prize Award and it talks so much about the talent in this writer and you know it and the time period of this novel is 1960s I guess where the independence India has gained the independence and it's India is developing into a you know, new state and you have all these different kind of political parties coming in the, in the novel and how they influence the story and different everything influences the kid's life and Amu's life and it almost leaves you with tears because it talks about how vulnerable children are and how vulnerable we as a human individual are how we lose support, how people can just throw away, dispose us like we are nothing. And all these kind of rare emotions and very real emotions are dealt with in this novel. I hope you guys read this novel. I will definitely say more about this novel. But right now I just want to tell about this that it is about childhood, it is about loss and it is about how you regain strength after going through such tragedy in your life. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll come back with more reviews, book reviews. Sorry if my voice is not clear. Please subscribe to my channel and put a thumbs up, thumbs up if you like this video and please support me on Patreon. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care of yourself.